Chevrolet V8 engine alternator replacement tips. I'm Brian Essen from How To Automotive, and I'm gonna show you how to change out these alternators without breaking this bracket. So I got a tip for you guys today. Sometimes when you go to put the alternator on, these little bushings here will pinch, and it won't allow the alternator to go in. So when you go to put the alternator in, the little bushings here may prevent it from sliding down into position. So, what you do not want to do is use a hammer like this and tap them here and here because this aluminum bracket is so thin that there's a good chance that it'll snap off, especially on this particular ear here. So the way you get this bushing pressed in like this so you can get the alternator to drop down is to do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a bolt like this. It has to be long enough, to, short enough but long enough to go through the bracket like this. You're going to take a socket that fits bigger than the bushing here, slide it on, and then you're gonna find a nut that fits it like this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten this nut and this is gonna push and pull this bushing inwards like this. So I'm gonna back it up here and I'm gonna tighten this. And as I tighten, it's pulling this bushing through. You don't only have to go a couple, a couple little turns or, or threads like this. And that should be enough right there. That's I can see the bushing moving inwards. And when I pull this off, you'll see the witness marks. So once I get this removed, you can see the it pushed the bushing through slightly. So we're going to do this one here the same way. This is the more fragile one because it's, this bracket is even thinner. If, like I said, if you were to try to use a hammer on that, you would definitely break that ear off. And then you would have to change this whole bracket out and you'd be in a world of trouble then. So just like the front one, we'll, we'll tighten this up a little bit and you'll feel it drawing in. You could actually see it too. Now let's just a couple threads like that. Go ahead and move your, your setup here. Now you can take your new alternator and it'll drop right into place and you can start your bolts through. Now you have plenty of slack. And there you have it. That's how you would get the bushings pressed back so you can safely get your alternator into place. I'm Brian from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and encourage you to subscribe. I invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. Thank you again for watching.